at the yard of Alan Schiff. And in the box of Bonnaroo, and we'll touch on her a little bit later, we're going to start off in race one with Outer Dimension. Now, she'll be having her very first start for the yard. She relocates from the high felt, and she'll also be starting on the poly for the first time. Good morning, Nadine. Yeah, um, Outer Dimension having a first run here in this decay poly debut. She does work quite nicely and uh, nice looking filly. And if she takes to the poly like duck to water, hopefully, um, <laughs> things will go well for her. In race two, we'll see another newcomer, also from the high felt and also making her poly debut, and that'll be Lady Chatterley. She'll be joined by Kayoka. Now, last time out on her local debut, she showed very promisingly, but she's going to have to translate that to poly on Tuesday. Yeah, Lady Chatterley having her first run drawn a bit wide in line, and, um, you know, I think uh, she might need this run and could be running on towards the end of the race. Kayoka was an encouraging first run here in the Eastern Cape and uh, she's a type of filly that uh, seems to tick in all the right boxes and I think definitely should be suited to Polly the way she works, her action and her demeanour. Another two runners in race three here. We'll see Honest Quest. Now, he's le needed his latest runs off of the gelding. He may still need this. Meet at the Windsor. He was a very difficult ride for Richard last time out. Overraced and certainly is capable of better. Yeah, Honest Quest is his third run now after a little bit of a layoff. And uh, I think he's still um, on the improve and needing the runs. He was really quite big and burly and seems like only racing taking off the... <laughs> the condition on him. Um, meet at the Windsor pulled quite hard last time with Richard and we've taken the blinkers off him and uh, hopefully he'll settle a little bit better but his work is good and I expect a good run if he doesn't uh, give Richard a hard time. In race four we'll see Empire Blue having his peak run off of the gelding and also down in class and Legal Thriller his recent runs in age group feature company have been decent. Last time out he perhaps also over raced a little. Yeah, Empire Blue, um, you know, he's been in a couple of features and also I think the handicapper was a little bit harsh on him when he won and maybe needs to come down a couple of points before he could be as competitive as he should be. Um, Legal Thriller, on the other hand, I think ran some nice races and uh, you know, I think he's a big runner. Central City in race five, got an unfortunate draw to overcome, but I do think he's going to enjoy being back on Polly. Yeah, I think so. And, you know, Richard got it for him last time and said, let's go further with him. And uh, he's always seemed to be running on. He's been a little bit frustrating because I thought he'd have won sooner. But um, hopefully Tuesday will be his day. In race six, Esther first up. Wow, what a super run in the Philly and Mares feature last time out when running second to stable companion Luna Halo. She really ran her socks off. She'll be joined by Cool Winter, who's never far back. Yeah, well, Esther, I think uh, for all the people on handicap terms must realise that uh, she's running off her old rating. The handicapper liked to run so much he gave her 20 points. Um, so she's effectively um, under 101. So uh, because she was in the weights and uh, ran a place, the handicap hasn't gone up yet. So we're taking advantage of uh, the, the situation. And... Uh, on literal handicap terms, she should be a good thing. But uh, yeah, I think she enjoys the poly. She's an honest filly and, uh, you know, she might uh, have deserved it because she ran second in a black type listed race. So you've got to take the punishment. Cool winter, always there, thereabouts. And uh, he's a horse that will always be running on. In race seven, we'll see the two runners, Bonnaroo. She's our poster girl this morning. Don't read too much into her last. It was an under par run, but her prior form proves she's capable of a lot better. She'll be joined by Summer Odyssey, who's another out the yard who really ran a good race in the listed ladies pendant last time out. Yeah, Bonnaroo, she's only run once on the poly over 1300, and that was a winning uh, race and, uh, you know, she's having a second chance at it and definitely a horse to keep an eye on. Summer Odyssey, very much like Esther, Ran a cracker in the ladies' uh, pendant and uh, the handicapper, I think, had a party in that race that day. I think she might have gone up something like 10 points, so we're taking advantage of this situation once again. And uh, hopefully, you know, she can prove the handicapper right and be uh, competitive. And finishing in race eight, another two horses, Burn, Baby Burn. I know she has been a bit disappointing for the yard, as she does show really smart work at home, but she's battling since leaving the Maidens. She'll be joined by You Win again. Now, she's managed two fair races in her two local starts so far. They've been on turf, though, and she'll try Polly on Tuesday. 
Yeah, burn baby burn. She needs to improve. She's been a little bit disappointing after her maiden win. And, uh, you know, I think she might be a little bit better on Polly, but definitely needs to improve. You win again, had two runs for us in the Eastern Cape and uh, her first run on the Polly. And uh, I think she's working well. And if everything goes right, I think she can be in the frame. There you have it, looking for improvement from Burn Baby Burn. You win again on form, certainly one you knew to include. Thank <laughs> you.